I'm MC and I'd like to show you some of my work in the Clover Art Gallery. Cows, cats, and more. My interest in art began early. My family was very supportive. My grandfather and father both drew and painted. And my uncle collected original prints and paintings from local and national artists. My subject matter comes primarily from my mother's side of the family. They were all animal lovers. And legend has it that my grandfather, great-grandfather, when he retired from the railroad, bought a farm in southern Indiana and just kind of collected animals. Anything that came there just stayed forever. The first cow I ever painted was this Brahma bull. I met this guy at a ranch in Florida. He was pastured with two Angus bulls next to my cousin's house. I'd never seen a Brahma in person before. He came up to the fence and I spent time scratching his head. He was so interesting looking I took a lot of pictures. These photos became the starting point for years and years of using him and the other cows as subject matter for my watercolors. The progression over time has led to less realistic color, freer, more expressionistic brushwork, and tighter cropped compositions. Black and white and chocolate and vanilla are two paintings of dairy cows that show this transition. Black and white is a Cassine painting that is more toward the realistic, while the more recent chocolate and vanilla is a looser watercolor and oil pastel piece. Both cats and dogs are fun to paint because you get to work with lots of textures. The self-portrait with cat offered an opportunity to try an odd composition but still focus on the cat. Torty, a watercolor on Upo, was done quickly with saturated paint and a complementary palette. The lounger, also on Upo, is in the same free style with lots of textures. With horses, it's always a challenge to get the structure correct, but still maintain the illusion of motion. This night scene of a harness race is the perfect example. Accuracy of an anatomy, gait and tack, but enough sketchiness to show motion. An added element is the opportunity to show the interaction between horses and humans. Farrier Day is a regular scene at horse farms when all the horses get their pedicures. I aim for the final painting to work on more than one level. First would be the visual. Color, texture, brushwork, composition. Second, the emotional. The cows, for me, bring back memories of riding through cattle pastures on the large farms in the smoky foothills. The curiosity of the calves as I would ride by and the aloofness of the wolves. I hope the viewer will get some insight into the joy of place and time that I experienced.